Hey everybody, Tall Family Films here. I was getting a error code, uh, check engine light on this Acura RDX, indicating that the catalytic converter was clogged or faulty. So, uh, P0420 is what showed up on here. So, um, there's five bolts that hold this to the car, plus a bracket. And the first two bolts are on the front, um, under the engine, next to the oil filter, which is that white circle you see to the right of the screen there. Um, and there's two bolts that hold this part, the second catalytic converter, to the first catalytic converter. So there's one of the bolts. The second bolt is, you know, straight across from it. You can't really get to it unless you go up through this hole that Acura made for you with a socket and an extension. But once you do that, you disconnect those two, it'll look somewhat like this. Um, it'll hang there by itself, creating a small gap. Now, we need to go um, to the other side of the catalytic converter and get the three bolts off that are holding it to the muffler. So there's the catalytic converter right there. And there's three bolts in a triangle that hold the back side of the catalytic converter on. So I'd suggest that you uh, use some lubricant spray, uh, maybe get under there and spray those every couple of days before you go in to do this because exhaust bolts tend to be rusted on pretty heavily. Okay, now all bolts are off, but this rubber clip is the last thing holding it on. So it's harder to get off than you'd think, but with a little bit of influence and jiggling, it does come off pretty easily. And it completely comes free. Okay, so now putting it back in, you just reverse everything. You put the five bolts back in. I started in the back here. I put the rubber clip on. I put the three bolts in the back and then I put the two bolts in the front. Uh, the new catalytic converter, uh, the bolts were not like mounted into the catalytic converter so I had to go get some bolts. Um, this little ring that is kind of like a gasket uh, like a, for the to, met, to mate with the muffler, this metal ring needs to stay in there but it keeps wanting to pop back out so what I did was I took a piece of rubber um, just like a little piece of strap or something from the packaging and I put it th you know around the metal ring to hold it in place then I put the three bolts in there and as I tightened the bolts and got them to the point that the gasket wouldn't fall out I then removed the rubber ring and continued to tighten the bolt so that's all we're doing here Okay, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, if you give this video a thumbs up, it'll help other people to find it when they're out searching for similar things. And it would certainly help me if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.